Good morning, Coyotes. I'm Connor Canaust. And I'm Ava Villegas. On this episode, we will check out Queen Creek's Food Truck Friday, learn about the benefits of taking CTE classes, and get an inside look on our TV programs. Stay tuned. You're watching episode four of The, the Rundown. Rundown. Get in, losers. We're going to film The Rundown. That is so not fetch, Mr. Taylor. Anyways, open court for beach volleyball has started. It's a great opportunity to come out and see what beach volleyball is all about. For more information, email Coach Allen at eallen at jocombs.org or scan the QR code on the poster in the cafeteria. Every Friday, the town of Queen Creek hosts a food truck festival with more than 15 gourmet options. Lucas and Kalia interviewed loyal customers about what keeps them coming back for more. Let's take a look. Hi Coyotes, my name is Kalia and today me and my partner Lucas decided to stop by at the Queen Creek Library to check out some of their food trucks that they have every single Friday. Not only do they have food trucks, but they also have different shops and bounce house for the kids with live music. So let's get right to it. Beyond, you know, it's like asking, you know, honestly it's like asking your mom who your favorite kid is, you know. Um, I tell you, I eat off of all these trucks all the time. And uh, I will always eat off of Waffle Love. Okay, so before I worked here, I've been going here for like ever, like a long time. I love it. It's just like cooking all day. Like you just like top some pretty waffles. So I love it. I recommend the strawberry Nutella Love because I love chocolate and I love strawberries and whipped cream. And it's just all that in one. Well, we're just getting the lay of the land. It's kind of been slow. Uh, we're just getting started. It's, it's been fun talking to people, people watching. We got a lot of window shoppers and a lot of people coming back. So if they come back, I try, I try to entice the children with big old cake pops. In the summertime when it gets hot, our main feature is aptly named D's Bowls. Uh, we have acai bowls of different flavors. So frozen fresh fruit, healthy treats, cold. When it's uh, 158 degrees in the state of Arizona, you can get cooled off and have something good to eat. It's called Pinwheel Rolls, and I sell a gourmet, unique style. It's a unique roll that's stuffed with different meats, cheeses, and veggies. And we get really busy over here. Uh, I would say the buffalo chicken or the chicken bacon ranch is really popular, or the four cheese garlic if you like marinara sauce. I guarantee you, there's something for everybody. Uh, high school students, you guys come on out and bring your friends. And uh, and we have things at different price points, you know. You, you've got barbecue that might be $30, but hey, we've got uh, other trucks. You can get a, a, a meal for under $10. So so you kind of do your do your homework and, and look around and, and, and see what's all out there. And uh, I guarantee you, there's something for everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to check out Food Truck Fridays at the Queen Creek Library every Friday. And this has been Kalia and Lucas signing off for The, the Rundown. Rundown. So, hi, what's your name? <laughs> Boys volleyball tryouts begin February 5th in the gym. Spring can have some crazy weather, but boys volleyball is always sunny and 75 in the gym. No experience is necessary to come try out, but you must have all your documents and registration fee in place through registermyathlete.com. If you have any questions, see Coach Shreel in room 316. The school is hosting a blood drive on Tuesday from 8.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the small gym. You must be at least 16 years old to donate. Pick up a form in the office and get it back to them by Monday if you're interested. There's only 27 slots available. First come, first serve. Is it me? Or is it getting a little hot in here? No, it's just hot one. Here's the spicy premiere of a new segment that Juan, Caleb, and I put together. Enjoy. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Hot Wands. I'm your host, Hot Wand, and because next month is CTE month, I'm here with CTE coordinator, John Scroggum. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Juan. 
So today we will be conducting an interview while tasting out these five levels of spice that we have here today. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. So now we're going to move on to the scorpion Tabasco sauce. Ooh, you ever been bit by a scorpion? Uh, bit? Yeah. I thought they stung. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> I don't know, they might have little t scorpion teeth. I think. But yes, they I sting. I think bite kind of is the same thing as like pinching, I guess you could say. Yeah. So I, I've been bit by a scorpion. That's no fun. Let's see if this thing can compare. It's really concentrated. Mm. <clears throat> kind of get you right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's got a little bit, a little bit of a bite. Oh. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Whew. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, you know, it's like a step up from... It's definitely a step up. Yeah. It's like tomato sauce on steroids. <laughs> on steroids? Yeah. You all right? I think I'll be good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that water is looking quite tempting right now. It is. <laughs> but we'll move on. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, I just got a little bit more. Mm. Keeps on giving. Can you explain the advantages students gain in participating in CTE classes? Yeah, there's a few things. So, <clears throat> one thing that employers tell us that a lot of employees don't have are those uh, professional skills, you know, how to communicate, how to, you know, just show up on time, be dressed properly, uh, and then have good work ethic right th while they're there. So um, all of our CT programs teach those professional skills. In addition to that, they learn technical skills. So whatever program they're in, they'll learn uh, specifically how to be successful, whether it's operating a specific type of equipment or working with animals or whatever that is. And then we also offer industry certification. So a student leaves our program, they have something that industry has said, hey, we value this. Uh, if it's on a resume, you got a better chance of getting a job with us. So it kind of helps you adjust to the industry standards that are currently developing? Yeah, 100%. In fact, um, all our programs, uh, we try to have the best equipment. So the equipment that we use in our programs is the same type of equipment that students would use if they actually went into the workplace. Let's move on and get this thing over with. Well, that's a good chip one. Yeah, it's like, kind of like a spoon. Yeah. All right. I like the flavor. Good flavor. Mm-hmm. Can I like... Can I have another one? Yeah. yeah. I'll get one, too. In fact, one... Look. You might want to try that. I'll try it. That's pretty good. I like that. Yeah? Maybe we can mix that and sell it. I like how you went back to both of them. Yeah, I like when you add them, kind of, this one kind of, I don't know, puts a little more kick into that one, but that's got a lot of good flavor in it. You adjusted that one, Coy. <laughs> I don't know. Well, that's good. Honestly, isn't that bad the second time around? No, I think, yeah, I think actually it's, that's not as bad when you mix it with that. If you could talk to every student on campus, how would you encourage them to join a CTE program? Well, I think there's a lot to offer in any CTE program. As I mentioned earlier, um, even if uh, you, you get into a program and you decide, well, that's not what I want to do for the rest of my life, you're still going to learn a lot of skills that are going to help you uh, find a job, get a job, and then keep that job. And that's really what we're trying to do in CTE is we really want to prepare students so when they graduate from high school, uh, they have something in their back pocket that they can use, that they can get out there and, and get a job. Not just any job, but a good job, and a job that they enjoy. So like if they want to have a career change, they could do that. Like if you took this class 
TV and film, or let's say you wanted to take uh, photography, you could always go back to either one of these if you take took them during your high school career? Absolutely, absolutely. In, in fact, a lot of our students, when they finish our programs, um, they use those skills. Some are entrepreneurs, so they're, they're running their own businesses based on some of those skills that they developed. Um, some are going right to work with companies in, in um, higher level uh, positions, so they're not starting always at the very bottom, but they actually, because they have credentials and skills, they're starting in a higher position, which means higher pay. So there's a lot of advantages out there. And sometimes, um, you know, students, try programs to see if it's a good fit for them, right? It's kind of like salsa making. You know, you can make salsa and if it tastes like ketchup, then you realize, hey, maybe that's not for me. I need to try something that's a little bit more uh, to my skills, right? There you go. Seniors, check your school Gmail to vote for your class Hall of Fame. Get your vote in by the end of the day on Monday. Track conditioning is underway and meets every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday on the track. All athletes, make sure you fill out your Register My Athlete form and page your fee prior to February 5th. Registration for next year is almost over, and you don't want to miss the chance to join a CTE program just like TV and production. Caleb, Ian, and I put together a behind-the-scenes look at what takes place in our class. <laughs> If you're interested in joining the rundown, please see Mr. Taylor in room 312 or shoot him an email at btaylor at jocombs.org. I think that's all we have for this episode. This is Ava and Connor signing, signing out for, for the, the rundown. rundown.